Hi, so in this video, we'll be starting with a Node-RED series. So in the first episode of the series, we'll be discussing about what is Node-RED, how is the interface of this, then after that, we'll see how to use Node-RED, and in the end, we'll be making our first demo project of controlling LED on Raspberry Pi board via Node-RED. So in this video, we'll be covering basics of Node-RED, but in detailed manner. So let's get started. Now before starting this episode, let me give you a glimpse about the series. So in this series, we'll be starting with Node-RED from very basics and heading towards making our own complete home automation system from scratch using Node-RED. So now if you are interested in making your own home automation system from scratch using Node-RED or are interested in learning about what Node-RED is and how to use it and what kind of application we can make using Node-RED, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out any video of this Node-RED series. Well, that being said, let's get started with the first episode. Node-RED is a browser-based flow editor using which we can connect multiple nodes for multiple tasks. Here, the node can be anything from a hardware device to an API to cloud services. So basically, using Node-RED, we can create logic without writing any single line of code in it. Just connect multiple nodes and you are good to go to make your project. And well, we may not have a node for every logic. That's why we also have an option to write our own code based on JavaScript to develop our own logic. Node-RED was developed by IBM and it is based on Node.js. And well, it's not compulsory to have knowledge of Node.js and JavaScript to make basic to medium level projects on Node-RED. But of course, if you want to make some advanced level project, you need to have knowledge of writing code in JavaScript. Well, I can suggest you one platform called Coding Ninjas that has several online courses. Here we have a course called Full Stack Web Development with Node.js in which you will not only be learning about JavaScript and Node.js but also you will be learning about CSS, Advanced CSS, HTML, jQuery, MongoDB and so many other things that will make you a complete full stack web developer. The courses on Coding Ninjas contain video and text based content with some projects and assignments in between to test your knowledge. One on one doubt resolutions can be resolved within one or two hours. It's very well suited for college students with a Facebook and Google rating of 4.9. Do check out that course and its syllabus and if you find it useful, which I'm sure you definitely will, then you can join that course taught by top developers. Also students will be able to avail the discount of 10% by clicking the link in my description. Isn't it a steel deal? Okay, so coming back to our series and now let's move ahead to see how to install Node-RED onto our Raspberry Pi board. So this is my Raspberry Pi desktop which I am running on my Raspberry Pi 4 board. But you can follow the same steps for installing Node-RED on any Raspberry Pi board that you have. So first of all, open up the terminal. And here you just need to copy and paste this command which is available on the official website of Node-RED and paste it inside terminal. That's it, just press enter. So this will install Node-RED on your system and if you already have Node-RED on your system, it will automatically upgrade it to the latest version. I'll type yes here and again yes. Okay, so it started installing the node on my Raspberry Pi board. So it will take some time, maybe 20 to 30 minutes, depending on our internet speed. So let me just cut this much installation portion and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we successfully upgraded Node-RED to the latest version and now we are good to go to use it. So after installing Node-RED, you have to type one single command to start running Node-RED on our system and that command is called node-red-start. After that, just press enter. So this will start running the Node-RED service on our Raspberry Pi board and uh, we will get a IP address using which uh, we will be able to access that Node-RED uh, web interface. Okay. Okay, so the Node-RED web service is started and here is the IP address using which we can access the web interface of Node-RED. Let me just copy this link and on my Raspberry Pi board, uh, I will paste this link in the web browser. So this link opens up the Node-RED web interface. Now the question is, will this link work for every device connected with the same Wi-Fi network? 
and the answer is no not at all okay so this link will work only for uh, you know using node red on raspberry pi board but if i need to use raspberry pi board on other devices connected to the same wi-fi network there will be a different ip address and that ip address will be nothing but the local ip address assigned to your raspberry pi board now to find the local ip address assigned to your raspberry pi board you just need to open up the terminal and type one command called ifconfig press enter so here is the local ip address assigned to my raspberry pi board i'll simply copy it and i'll go to my macbook and open up the browser in that uh, laptop now i'll paste that local ip address of raspberry pi here after that i will write colon 1880 which is the port on which the node red is running and press enter so now using this ip address you can access this node red web interface from any device maybe from smartphone from laptop from computer or from raspberry pi board any of the board you can use this ip address but make sure your devices are connected with the same wi-fi network okay so yeah this was the installation part now let us move on to the second part and let's get familiar with the node red web interface so now node red interface can be divided into three main sections. the leftmost side have several nodes provided by default and this section is called as node palette here we can just drag and drop a particular node into the center window which is called as the workspace. We can add multiple nodes, connect them with each other and this nodes with the connection is termed as flow in node red. And on the right hand side we have the output window where we can see the debug messages and all other information regarding several nodes that we will see at the time of making of the project. Now talking about node palette then here node palette is divided into several different groups based on their functionalities. But node red is not limited to these palettes only. We can also add external palettes to node red based upon our projects that will be see later on in the next episodes. So now if you are confused with the terms node palettes and nodes and let me simplify this for you. So node palette in node red can be termed as libraries that we use in Arduino IDE. Okay. So in Arduino, we have libraries for WebSocket, for HTTP, for MQTT and so on. Similarly, we have different, different node palettes for different, different uh, functions in node red. And uh, in uh, Arduino library, there are several predefined functions in it. In similar manner, in a node red uh, node palette, we have several different nodes. Well, nodes are nothing but a predetermined code which either takes the input or provides the output based on its function. Okay, so I hope now you are clear with this node and node palettes. Node palettes can be termed as libraries and nodes can be termed as functions. So similarly, I'll try to explain all the keywords used in node red in much, much simple manner in the further upcoming episodes. Okay, so now after getting familiar with this node red interface, now let us start with making our first project or we can say our first flow in node red. So for the demo project, I will drag and drop this inject node into the workspace. Now this node is used to inject a particular data to other node. Now that data can be timestamp, string, number, boolean, anything. Now you can get the details of each and every node by clicking on the help icon on the right hand side. So here as you can see we have a short description about what is this inject node all about and how is the output and all other details are mentioned here. Okay. So whenever you are using any new node in node red you can just refer this help section to get familiar with that node. Now to configure the node, you just need to double click on it. So as you can see, the by default payload for this inject node is set to timestamp. Okay. Here, as you can see, we have several different kinds of payloads, but let us keep it as timestamp for now. Okay. Just click on this done button. Now to visualize the data in the output, we'll be using a node called as debug node. Now the debug node is same as serial print function in Arduino. So serial print function is used to display the data into the serial monitor. Similarly, here we can use this debug node that will display the data into the debug window of node red. Now let us connect this inject node with the debug node and we successfully made our first flow in node red. So with this flow, I'll be able to visualize the timestamp into the debug window. Let's just see this in action. So whenever you create a new flow or make any changes in the existing flow, you need to click on the deploy button all the time. Okay. Let's just click on this deploy button. Okay. So we have successfully deployed our flow. Now we'll go to this debug window. As you can see, we are not able to see anything as of now because we just need to press this button to inject the data. Okay. Let's just press the button. 
as you can see i got the timestamp here in the debug window so every time i press this button i'll be able to see a new timestamp so yeah this flow is perfectly working now the question is uh, how we can automate this thing right now to visualize the data i need to press the button let us make it automatic double click on this inject node now here in the repeat tab select interval so right now for the demo project i'll keep the interval of one second only click on done as you can see a blue bubble appeared over the inject module now what does this reveal this reveals that we have made some changes inside this node which is not yet deployed okay so we need to deploy all the time we make any changes okay let's just click on the deploy button as you can see as soon as i click the deploy button the blue bubble disappeared and i'm able to see a new timestamp every second in the debug window so yeah we successfully automated this flow other than timestamp we can also send a particular string let me show you a demo for that uh, double click on this inject node now here just change the payload from timestamp to string here type the string that you want i will write as uh, hello world okay i click on the done button again the blue bubble appeared because we haven't yet deployed the flow let's just click on the deploy button okay so we successfully deployed and now as you can see we are able to see hello world screen in the debug window every second so yeah this was the basic flow that we made just to get familiar with how to make flows in node red now let us move ahead and try to make a practical project of controlling led on a raspberry pi board using node red for that i will drag and drop this inject node into the workspace i'll double click on it change the payload to boolean and we'll keep it true for now click on done similarly i'll copy and paste this node double click on it and change its value to false so with this we have created two buttons one for turning it on and one for turning it off okay now i will go down to this node palette and drag and drop this raspberry pi gpio out node here i'll double click on this and for this demo project i'll be selecting the gpio pin as 4 that's it i click on done now i will connect both this inject node to the raspberry pi gpio node that's it we successfully made the flow now we just need to click on the deploy button using this we'll be able to turn on the led using this true node and turn off the led using this false node let us see this in action okay let's try to turn on the led okay so led got turned on and yes with this the led got turned off so we are able to control the led on a raspberry pi board using this basic flow that we created on node red so yeah that was the first very basic practical project that we made using node red as a part of this first episode so yeah that was all about the first episode of a node red home automation series i hope you got the basic idea about node red and also become confident enough to make your first flow using node red if you have any doubt or question or queries regarding this episode do let me know your like doubts in the comment section of the video i'll definitely try to respond to your questions or queries and if you are loving this series and want me to make more such episodes of the series then do like this video the more you like the video the more confident i will feel to make this episode so do click the like button if you really love this so that being said ending this first episode and i'll soon make the second episode of this series make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out any episode of the series or any video of this channel that being said, adding this video here and now just wait for my next video in the next explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.